Mm-hmm. So this is love. This is love, Sarah. This is love. This is L O V E love. Um, I love, love, it. love. It just puts me in a loving mood seeing this picture and seeing this caption. It does. We are, of course, talking about none other than Kristen and Tobin, who have become. I know we say kissing bandits, but posting bandits. No. Oh <laughs> yeah, in love that. bandits. No. Oh yeah. So. We're going to talk a little bit about this picture that was just posted by Tobin. Then we're going to actually talk about a couple other things. But this picture that Tobin Heath just posted uh, in this caption and what this means and how much love can one couple have? I don't know. <laughs> Immense. <laughs> Tobin Heath yesterday posted a picture um, of her and Kristen. The caption says, you know, you make my world light up. And I mean, make my world light up we should have sang a different song for our intro because i did not know this but that was a beautiful song lyric from a coldplay song i I didn't know i share your feelings and emotions through song lyrics but wow yeah like i i never really had a myspace but everyone like on myspace days used to share song lyrics as their status like how they were feeling that's my status right now um that was early like facebook days too yeah oh was it was it when you're going through heartbreak man you just you just share it yeah with the song (laughs) lyrics um but tobin posted that with the song lyrics and the, the caption you know you make my world light up um and does she mean it i mean they are each other's light i think this is really special and we've talked about this a lot this year but this really is like you said their posting era this year in particular and i think it corresponds to maybe them both being injured because they're really just like looking back on their you know they're not so focused on playing necessarily they're focused on getting healthy but they're not focused necessarily on that day-to-day grind of training every day or playing every day so i think maybe they just look at themselves and say how lucky are we to have each other Right exactly. Now. Mm-hmm. And I think a lot of, I mean, Kristen's big into meditation. So she, her and Tobin are probably like really just living in the present moment. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Not worrying about the future, not worrying about the past, not thinking about that stuff, just literally being in the present, in each other, in each other's presence mm-hmm. and just enjoying life is life is stressful. Yeah. So and being I- in the present is what's up. So this picture that they post, she posted, and you know, for the longest time, we remember, Tobin's Instagram has been kind of a mystery. Remember she posted personal things, then completely stopped posting personal things, deleted everything from her Instagram, then started posting things again, and now is ultra, like, personal about her posting again. So she's been through an evolution on her Instagram. Yeah, very, I mean, very emotional. Oh, like, what is the caption again? You know you make my world light up? Yes. Like, hello, that's... Yeah. Like... I know. Very loving and beautiful. Because if you remember... And they lo- both look amazing. Oh, gosh, yeah. Love Tobin's outfit. Because if you remember, like, remember when she posted that one um, Instagram after she left Portland? She goes, I've left my home. I, I lost my home and my heart in Portland when mm-hmm. it seemed like she was done a little bit dirty by Portland. A and lot dirty. When she posted that kind of very emotional instagram this was two three years ago at this point i remember thinking you know she posted that and then that's when she scrubbed her instagram after that you know a little bit i'm thinking we're never gonna get posts like that again like that was like a one in a lifetime thing but now she is it just seems like her and kristen are in the face it's like the slowest launch ever of them Um, because I was thinking fast I was think- forward fast forward <laughs> because to be honest the, the the picture that shook me the most will always have shook me the most is the picture on Kristen's birthday two or three years ago at this point where they were skiing and Kristen's arms were wrapped around Tobin oh, okay. I thought to- you were going to meant the Christmas one. Oh, the thank you you're welcome <laughs> yes because yeah you're welcome that one had me fainting I still think that post at Kristen's birthday where she wrapped I think to me that was the we're official relationship post for me to that was that was like the post that says wow sarah and i we have to be honest we have not watched all of the re-ink shows from the world cup we watched a lot of them but we didn't watch them all i love seeing their interaction yeah the new reality is them as as one and i truly see that as one and i think a lot of the comments were kind of wild too because this one got the most likes 
Preeth stands from 2015. How are we feeling right now? We <laughs> truly made it out of the woods. I never thought I would see this day, but here we are, and the view is beautiful. This one, one of the Preeth stands that used to fight for their life as a kid to support Preeth. So that one got the most likes, so that's why we read that one. But the same kind of people were like, I can't believe we're here. You know, for, like this comment said, from people who are back from 2015, um, who kind of picked up on things back then. Sarah and I were not in the fandom in 2015, but, you know, we joined just like many thousands of other people who joined it. Um, because, yeah. you know, when you see people that are like the top of their game, so talented, you know, stars of the show, and then and you just realize, hey, there could be something here. It's just a very special thing, you know. Very beautiful. I really like this comment. Best teeth couple in the world. <laughs> yeah, they both have good teeth. Yeah. yeah, they both have good teeth. But you know what this right. reminds me of? You know, like Beyonce and Jay-Z were together for a very long time, even before they publicly acknowledged it, really. And they had that song, here is my boyfriend, here is my girlfriend. <gasps> no, I that song is like, t I love that yeah, song. Yeah, that is a great song. So good. But then people are like, are they together? Aren't they together? They don't kind of to talk about it but it seems like their inflection they were different but then when we finally realized they were together and then very shortly after that i believe they got married and the rest was history exactly so i think this is very cute very sweet especially it's, it's almost like it's also like where does this go from here because they just announced that Kristen, uh, her season's over there's no her she's aiming for a 2024 comeback we that still we still don't know about tobin playing and it to me that that's the end of the era that's even wilder of anything just them in the foreseeable future Kristen's gonna hopefully come back but who knows what what the future holds for them playing wise with the national team with their club team with a club team for Tobin what does that what does that look like and I think that's another scary part you know we just had uh Julie early Ertz we haven't talked about it. she announced she was retiring a uh, Pino has her f farewell game um, one of the games is going to be Julie Ertz's farewell game. So, I mean, do I think Tobin's retiring? I don't know. I hope not. But is this is this the next era for them? You know what I mean? The I don't want to say influencer era because I don't think that is the the right term. No. But with like re-ink and everything, they want to use their voice for good. You know. And so also, I'm not going to say that this person's name. And I I read on a message board that somebody close to Tobin and Kristen in their comment section posted a comment to the, they know them personally, it's someone in their family, and they said, Loved spending time with you two. Honest, honestly jealous of how sweet you two are together, and I believe everyone deserves the love you two have. And that is someone in, within either Kristen or Tobin's family. That's what I read on a message board. So, but, so that is very sweet that somebody firsthand says, I'm jealous of the love you guys have. Yeah, <laughs> I love they it. have. Of really great love. Yeah, very pure. They seem very genuinely in love, very genuinely sweet, yeah. and very nice, and just nice, loving, wonderful couple. So who saw that? They also were at the Inter Miami and versus LAFC game. Uh, this was, I think, September 3rd, and they had some really cute Insta stories, pre-game mood, and it's Kristen and then Tobin Grubbin on something. I'm not actually sure what it is. Hot dog? Oh, I'm hungry. A hamburger uh, yeah, sandwich you eat a burger that way or a sandwich you looks so good so it looks they're they're having fun and then also here's a cute video of them look at Chris, so Kristen she has no makeup on there she looks so pretty looks like Tobin does have makeup or something yeah they're dancing and then just some cute so they have that and then um inner Miami did win that game though so <laughs> here's some cute pictures of them um thanks for the hospitality a LAFC uh and they were like a featured guest, I believe, there because obviously Kristen plays for um, City. Angel City, yep. but Inner Miami did win. Super cute. They're right there. Um, so those some other recent pictures, uh, but super cute. I mean, I you know it's interesting to see. I'm so interested to see where this goes from here. You know what I mean? Like, I wonder if they want to not be known as a couple. A couple in their career, you know, they want to be looked at very independently still. They don't want to look at, be looked up as a team. They they had their World Cup show. And I believe for Re-Ink members, they still are doing content, which I think is very cool. Mm -hmm. And I mean, every, their, their, their World Cup show was amazing. So cute. I mean, so cute. So precious. What did everyone think about that? Um, I mean, are you like Sarah and I who are just so in love with how stinking cute they are and how much they are in love? 